Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I am going to be bringing you guys the fastest way on how to get the brand new Carve 2 tactical rifle in Cold War. Now this rifle has just been released on the day of recording this video, so it's brand new to pretty much everyone. And there's two main ways of getting this rifle. The first one is obviously by buying it from the store pack. Now I didn't realise this until pretty much the challenge was done, so I've gone through the entire process of the challenge for you guys so that I've got the best methods and the fastest methods on how you can do this to get it unlocked very, very quickly. Now obviously the second method there is doing the challenge itself, and the challenge itself is to get rapid kills of two or more enemies in ten different matches. In other words, get two or three kills or more very, very quickly. Just two will suffice, but this has to be in ten different matches, and before any of you ask, unfortunately, no, this cannot be done within the same match if you get multiple rapid kills. It is only once per game, and you can't, unfortunately, leave after you've done that. You do have to play the full game out, so it can be quite long, but I'm going to give you guys the fastest ways of doing this. Now, before we jump into the video fully, if you are not subscribed, Subscribe to the channel, go down below, press the red subscribe button. We'd love to have you here as part of the channel community. We're trying to hit 1.5k subs, your support would be much, much appreciated. And if you do go on to enjoy today's video and find it useful, make sure you drop a like down below, turn notification bells on, and let's jump into today's video. So the fastest way to do this challenge is by going into the Hardcore playlist, and I recommend Hardcore Domination or Nuketown 24-7. Both of these playlists are really, really good and very, very fast for getting the rapid kills. Domination is good because you've got the B objective where people will pile up at the start of the game. You can get the rapid kills out of the way very, very quickly, and then that's done for the game. You know where it is, and obviously people will fight over that objective throughout the game. But also, if you manage to be on the winning team, you've got both objectives. You're pushing into the enemy spawn. As they spawn in, you'll easily get a double kill, and conversely to that, if the enemies are pinning you in, the chances of them piling together and trying to get greedy on those kills means that you're probably going to end up getting a double kill. So either way, it's a really good mode. And Nuketown 24-7 is also really, really good. And it's not always going to be domination. So with the size of the map being so small, you can still get double kills very easily on TDM, on kill confirmed. So you might be able to get it done a little bit quicker by doing that by maybe getting two, three, four games that are team deathmatch, couple of kill confirms in there, and then a couple of hard points maybe, a couple of dominations, you know, mixing it up a little bit so that some of the games will be faster because domination does take quite a while. And like I said, you do have to play the full game out. So if you can speed it up with a couple of TDMs in there, if you're capable of getting double kills and rapid kills in, that TDM mode, then that is going to be brilliant, and Nuketown is your best bet for that. Now, the best weapon to use is the DMR. The class for this will be on screen for you guys now, but I'm just going to roughly go through a couple of the attachments just so you know what you should be using. Now, I recommend the Silencer. Obviously, it keeps you off the mini-map, so that's always a bonus. I do also like the Target Designator Flashlight, which goes on the underbarrel there, which is a really, really good attachment because it gives you a plus 60% ADS reveal, which is really nice in hardcore because it means you can just see people's names that little bit further and get that extra peak, so that's really, really useful. And then just run pretty much whichever other attachments you want on screen. As I say, I will go through it and label the attachments that we've got here so you guys can copy the exact build I had if you want to. And DMR is really good for this because it has an extremely quick fire rate. A lot of you guys will probably have this gun already leveled up given that it was meta in Warzone for a long time. But if you don't, just use literally the base DMR. It's still a one-shot kill using it in the hardcore mode there. So it's going to be super, super quick to get those kills. Literally just play the game. You will get the rapid kills as you go through very, very easily. And yeah, this is going to be the fastest way that you can get it done. You can also obviously use the type if you want to. Same effect as the DMR. It's just the DMR, a lot more people have max level, so that's why I recommend that one. But the type works just as well. And you can obviously use the M16 and the AUG as well, but with their recent nerfs to the fire rate and the recall, it's just a little bit easier to use the DMR because you can literally bang, bang, and someone is, that's it. You're out. You've got the double kill for the game. Rapid kill is complete. Tick it off. Next game and so on. So it just makes it a little bit quicker quicker for you to get through them there, which is really, really nice. So that is going to be the fastest way that you guys are going to be able to unlock this gun by completing the challenge. Obviously, if you don't do the store purchase, I have, however, done the store purchase subsequently, just so I could show you guys in the video what this purchase is all about, what you get, and the attachments are on screen as follows, and it looks pretty cool. It's all white out. It looks kind of like intergalactic almost. Pretty cool skin. Uh, very nice attachments. You get the agency suppressor off the bat, which is really nice, and the ammo capacity on this thing is nuts. You get 66 round fast mag by default, you've got a 54 drum mag which is what you unlock first and the default mag size is 40 something which is a really really strong size. The TTK is pretty quick, it's not quite as quick as like maybe the DMR, obviously that's like a 2-3 to three shot kill and things like the LC10 are competing with it but I do think it competes with those weapons because the rate of fire is extremely fast and the damage is pretty high. This is with you know just the default 
build which comes with the bundle I've been using in multiplayer so far and it's melting people pretty pretty quickly. I think this thing is going to be very very lethal in Warzone and once I've got this leveled up I'll bring you guys the best class setup for it, I'll bring you guys a gold guide as soon as I can and obviously the best Warzone setup for this gun as well so make sure you stay tuned to the channel with notification bells on so you don't miss out on any of those uploads. Other than that that's going to be it for today's video if you have enjoyed make sure you drop a like down below as it really does help me and the channel out tremendously and I'd like to thank you guys for watching, take care and peace.